Eric, it is time. Why don't you do it? It's your house. Your house. Listen to them up there. The party has reached critical mass. In 10 minutes, there will be no more beer opportunities. <laughs> if my dad catches me copping beers, he'll kill me. I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> So is Red still thinking about giving you the car, maybe? <laughs> Even if we do get it, we're gonna need some serious gas money, because the cruiser's a boat. <laughs> I know it's a boat. This whole gas shortage bites. Who's getting a boat? <laughs> there is no gas shortage, man. It's all fake. The oil companies control everything. Like, there's this guy who invented this car that runs on water, man. It's got a fiberglass air-cooled engine, and it runs on water. So it is a boat. No, it's a car. Only you put water in the gas tank instead of gas. <laughs> And it runs on water, man! <laughs> Holy mother! Hello, Lori. Hello, Kelso. Hide. Who is the goddess? The goddess is Eric's sister. She's not a goddess. She's more the Earth Mother whore type, which works for me. <laughs> It's not like I'm completely naked under this. I'm wearing underwear. See? Oh. Hi. <laughs> if we were at the beach, you wouldn't even notice me. If we were at the beach, Kelso would be in the water right now. Uh-huh. Man, are you still on the phone? Come on, let's go. I can't. Hey, the movie starts in five minutes. Let's go. I can't. What? Jackie, hold on. Okay, I'll tell her there's an emergency and I gotta go. She'll buy that, right? Yeah, except for one thing. <laughs> we need to talk. And I am over here. Oh God, what am I gonna do? <clears throat> Well, you could, and I know this is a radical suggestion, but, um, be a man. <laughs> You're right, Hyde. No more excuses. She will crush him, Jess. Like the spirit of your Mayan forefathers. <laughs> My forefathers were not Mayan. <laughs> like anyone cares. <laughs> Dates? Dates cost money. No, Kelso, so that is prostitution. <laughs> Dating is prostitution, man, only you don't always get what you paid for. Said the man who's never had a girlfriend? What, you guys don't remember Esther the biker chick? Oh. Hey, whatever happened to her? She's dating my uncle. Cool. Catch you guys later. <laughs> Party at Donna's. You are both so stupid! Oh, why? Well, this is a first. I actually agree with Jackie. <laughs> what, you're saying that I'm stupid? Donna just put on the full court press, man, and you dropped the ball. What are you talking about? All she said was that she'd be alone Saturday night with a pizza. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> so, big party Saturday night. Whoopee. I can't believe Foreman missed all of those signals. What signals? Oh no, poor me. All alone in my big house. <laughs> Just me and my nighty. <laughs> if only there was some scrawny little neighbor boy here. He's not scrawny. 
You know, why am I even talking to you? I'm all you got. <laughs> oh my God, so everybody knows. I'm afraid so. I just want to spend some time with them alone. And now I can't. How does that make you feel? <laughs> frustrated, it's frustrating as hell. I mean, I really put myself out there. I see, and do you have trouble sleeping at night? Sometimes, yeah, I do. Do you think you would sleep better if you had a scrawny little neighbor boy up next to you? Okay. Hurry up and drink your keg. Hurry up and drink a keg? Jackie, will you just mellow out? I mean, this rules. We got a keg and soon everybody's gonna be here. Everybody? Everybody who matters. And for the first time, Jackie, that includes you. No, get away from me! You heard it, let's drink beer. Me first. No way, I spotted it. <laughs> I saw it too, I just didn't say anything. Oh, you saw a keg and you didn't say anything? <laughs> Back of the line! <laughs> All right, how do you get the beer out? <sighs> Through the tap. What tap? Okay, we really need a tap here. I got my Swiss Army knife. Oh great, we can whittle the beer out. All right, look, they sell taps at the liquor store. Yeah, and who's got the money to buy it, huh? What is going on? I didn't want to tell you before, Jackie, but we've taken it upon ourselves to help your mom show off the house at two bucks a head. He's lying to Jackie, man. I lie to Jackie. You know, it seems to me that the scrawny little neighbor boy is willing to engage in criminal acts for that saucy redhead next door. Shut up, how do you know he's not doing it to impress his friends? You know, peer pressure. Because his friends aren't saucy. Kelso saucy. Kelso, please, I'm saucier than Kelso. <laughs> It's broken. I got duct tape. <laughs> duct tape? Do you know how much pressure runs through that tap? I got a whole roll of duct tape. I can't work like this. <clears throat> Foreman, you need to get your dad's tap now. My dad doesn't have a tap. Red's got bicentennial swizzle sticks. He's got fake lemons with real lemon juice. He's got toothpicks shaped like swords. Red Foreman is a cocktail dad. And cocktail dads have beer taps. Yeah, come on, Eric, we never ask you for anything. Wait, you guys ask me for everything. So what's one more thing?